Good morning, students. You already know the importance of adverb. Again, the importance of adverb is that readers can visualize and understand the scene more clearly. In turn, your readers will find your writing much more interesting. So it makes the article interesting. It makes your sentences interesting. So we must use adverb in our sentences. What is adverbs? So when we say adverbs, they qualify or modify an adjective, verb, or another adverb. This gives descriptions of how, where, in what manner, when, or to what extent an action is performed. So literally, it answers the question how, where, in what manner, when, or to what extent. So we have five different types of adverbs. We have first, manner, second, place, third, frequency, fourth, time, and the fifth one is degree. Let's take first, manner. So manner, this explains how an action happens. So it answers the question how. It is placed after the main verb or after the subject. For example, Danny carefully handed the medicine to his grandparents. So how does Danny and the medicine. Answer is carefully. So carefully is the adverb of manner in this sentence. Second one, the doctor speaks softly and respectfully to his patients. How does doctor speak to the patients? The answer is softly and respectfully. So those are the adverb of manner in this sentence. Second type of adverb is place. This tells where an action took place. So it answers the question where. Adverb of place modifies the main verb. We have here some example. We have nearby, here, far away, up, down, around, below, between, forward, and eastward. So we have another example. We have Sheena needs to put the clean up drive campaign outside. Where Sheena put the cleanup drive campaign? The answer is outside. So our adverb of place in this sentence is outside. Another sentence, here, students with special capabilities are given equal chance to learn. Where students were given equal chance to learn? The answer is here. So here is the adverb of place in that sentence. We have the third one, which is the frequency or adverb of frequency. It describes how often or how frequent something happens. So it answers the question, how often? Let's have examples. We participate in cultural fest annually. How often they participate in the fest? The answer is annually. Another our family goes to church every Sunday. How often they go to church? Answer is every Sunday. So in here, in the second sentence, we only have every because it describes how frequent they go to church. And Sunday is a noun. The fourth one is the time, adverb of time. It tells about the time something occurs. Adverbs that tell us when so it answers the question when for example yesterday tomorrow today later now last year and it also answers the question how long for example all day for a year since 2020 for a week since monday for several years so we have here some examples yesterday john cleaned the house when did John clean the house? The answer is yesterday. And it answers the question, when? Another, next month, we will join the immersion in a remote area. Our question, when will we join the immersion in a remote area? The answer is next month. And again, it answers the question, when? Another example is, my mother lived in France for a year. So in this sentence, it answers the question, how long? 
So our question would be, how long my mother lived in France? For a year. Another sentence is, she stayed in the bear's house all day. How long she stayed in the bear's house? The answer is, all day. So in the last two sentences, you notice that we answered the question, how long? And they are adverb of time. Our last type of adverb is degree. It determines the degree or intensity of an action. Examples, the water was extremely cold. Second example, Dr. Joel is very proud to be part of an ethnic group. Our adverbs of degree in these sentences are extremely and very. So it determines the degree or intensity of an action.